What's up, everybody? My name is Tyrone Rudolph. I am the drum instructor at Life Pacific College, part of the WAM program. Today, I want to talk to you guys about four tips for worship drummers. Tip number one, arrive ready. As a drummer, you should have your tempos ready, your gear, you should know the structures of the song, you should have your set list down. If you need to put things in the memory, you should have that already taken care of. Um, know what you need before you get there. If you have to call ahead, if there's someone you need to talk to, uh, make sure you do that. That's your responsibility. For tempo, I'd always, I, I always recommend having your metronome set. Each song should be set um, before you even get to the church. So if they need to use your phone for the click, that's a possibility. During the practice, when someone's unsure of the tempo, that's your job. They should look back and you should be able to say 58, 72, whatever the tempo is, um, that's part of your responsibility. Tip number two, clear communication. Uh, this is really important as far as communication between yourself and the music director and also the speaker, whoever it might be, senior pastor or associate pastor, whomever. During rehearsal, during the actual performance, this is absolutely crucial. During the worship time, this is very important. Um, things change all the time, so you need clear communication, whether it be uh, visual and or uh, the talkback mic. If you have a situation where you can't hear the music director with his talkback, uh, you need to say something right away because when things change, he's at, he has to tell you immediately um, so you can be ready to go. Visual is really important. Um, things change, sometimes things change with just a hand movement. Um, a lot of times the speaker isn't, his microphone may not be in your mix. So he could say, Ben, bring it down, I wanna pray or something. Um, and that might just be a hand gesture. So if you have your eyes closed, if you're looking down at your music, if you're just kind of wondering, you could be that guy just out there making a lot of uh, distracting sound when the uh, music needs to come down. Tip number three, uh, be ready for change. Um, this is a good general tip for everybody on stage, but things change really quick um, in church settings, in worship settings. So always be prepared. If you're playing a song that requires brushes and mallets and it's like a low acoustic song, but then all of a sudden out of nowhere, senior pastor jumps up on stage and requests a full blown like rock song or, or gospel song or something. Your sticks better be ready to go and you better be ready to tune back up or do whatever you have to do to fit that song. Tip number four. This is also a pretty general tip for everybody on stage. For us as drummers, our instrument can be pretty distracting to a lot of people that are on stage. So if you have to tune, just know when the best time to tune is, uh, prefer preferably before rehearsal starts, have your drums tuned up. That's the same goes for uh, practicing. If you're just in the background noodling or just kind of jamming, if there's a time for it, then there's a time for it. But just be very conscious and be aware of what's happening on stage. If you need time to tune or to practice, uh, make sure nothing else is happening on stage. If the music director is talking to a singer or a guitar player, you shouldn't be back there working out some licks that you should have had at home anyways. Be careful as a drummer not to be a distraction. Our instrument is such a um, loud, aggressive sounding instrument that um, it's, it's different. For a guitar player or a singer, they can walk away from their mic. The guitar player could turn down his volume and practice his lick really quick and get it down. For us as drummers, we, we don't really have that uh, capability. So in between songs, if you're practicing um, a lick at full volume, that could be extremely distracting. So that just comes with being a drummer. Have that stuff ready to go, just like tip number one, be prepared and uh, you shouldn't have that problem. So to wrap it up guys, uh, these four tips, obviously there's more that could be said about uh, worship and, and being a professional drummer, but I think this is a good start um, to keep in mind these four things, being prepared, uh, being ready, keeping uh, good communication at all times, um, and not being a distraction on your instrument. Um, that way the main focus is always the worship, right? Uh, that's, that's the reason why we're there and that's what we're there for, we're to support corporate worship. So just keep these things in mind as you guys move forward.